What's up everyone? Welcome to another game of Heroes of the Storm. Today, I'm going to be playing as Tyriel, the Archangel of Judgment. Perfection. So, first ability I'm going to go with is Purge Evil. Increases my smite damage by 30%. Often when I play Tyriel in solo queue, I like to go for a more damage-oriented build. Tyriel is one of my favorite classes at the moment, or one of my favorite heroes at the moment. He is probably one of the top-tier warriors in the game. Just because he has, he can take a good bit of damage, and he does have good abilities at running down the weaker assassins such as Fala, Zeratul, or whoever. He can run them down pretty good. He can do some damage. Uh, he does quite a bit of damage, actually, as you'll see later on. And yeah, he's just really good at engaging because he can use his Q to travel distances. His E will give him a speed buff, and he can also provide a shield to himself. So even if he does kind of get engaged, he can protect himself. Once he has his heroic ability, which I usually take is Judgment, he can dive in on someone as well. So, again, Tyrael is just really good at running down an enemy. So I'm going to go top lane. I'm sitting up here with uh, Muradin and Abathur backing us up. And we're just going to kill some minions initially. Looks like on the bottom we have our Zagara. And looks like the enemy team, I got three members down there. We have Zagara and Turan on our side. Mirrodin looks like he's going down to help. I'm just going to stay up top, continue to soak experience, push this tower a little bit, providing a shield to my minions so they can absorb some more of that cannon fire, and just to help force those cannons to run out of ammo a little bit sooner. Because once the cannons are out of ammo, then we can push the towers a little bit easier. Alright, so it looks like the enemy team has an Abathur and an Illidan coming in top, top lane, and I'm going to take on Illidan one-on-one -on -one right here, and yeah. So I'm not too worried. Especially early on. Okay, Abathur is backing me up and the enemy team Abathur is backing up the enemy team's Illidan. So now it's 2 on 2. So I will say this. When I first started playing and I, and I saw people playing Abathur, I was just really underwhelmed. I didn't think Abathur was a very, you know, influential hero in the game. Um, but now that I've played quite a few games and I've seen... Alright, hold on. Seems like Re Rexar's here He's trying to slow me down, trying to get a kill on me, but you know, I was able to get away. So Abathur, yeah. He seemed underwhelming at first, but now that I've played quite a few games and I've seen other people play him, uh, play him well, he can do a ton of damage, and he can really push lanes. Like, someone who's really good at Abathur is, he can really make a big difference in your game, and he can actually, like, you know, if you have Abathur sitting on you, you can solo, you know, one-on-one -on -one, uh, most heroes, and yeah, he's just really good. But of course, the key to that is playing well. All right, so we're going to try and go into the mines. The mines have opened up, and again, I didn't mention this in the beginning, we're playing on Haunted Mines, but it looks like the enemy teams, Illidan and Rexar, are guarding the entrance to the top uh, entrance to the mine. So I'm going to get out of there. It looks like Rexar's trying to get a kill on me and running away. All right, so I see I ran through my Judgment, uh, my E, or my Smite, I guess you were. Uh, I ran through my Smite, and that gives me a speed boost and any allies that run through it. And it also gives them a speed boost. So I'm just going to port back to base and try to get some health, restore health to full. We got Zagara and Tarand in the mines trying to collect those skulls. Uh, right now we do have 16. The enemy team has 0. The objective of this map is to try and get those skulls to build a more powerful golem than our opponent. Which will help us push the lanes. So now I'm heading back down into the bottom. Looks like Zagara got killed. Looks she, like she probably got double teamed by Rexar and Illidan. And Tarand's still down here. So I'm going to go help her out. And we got Muradin coming in from the top, so now there's three of us in the bottom. And don't see where the enemy's at, but they're probably down here somewhere. Oh, here comes Illidan with Abathur on his head. And, okay, so there's three on two. Well, technically three on three with Abathur, but we're going to chase this Illidan down. And are we going to get the kill on him? Yeah, he's going to get killed. And, yeah, Tehran hit him, and he's down. See that? Again, Tyrael, again, he's really good at chasing down, fleeing, you know, fleeing opponents. Or even helping his team chase down fleeing opponents. Alright, so we got most of the skulls so far. Which is really good. Let's see if we can't get any more. It looks like we're going to collect all of the skulls from the little skeletons. And now we're going to try and go for the big boss uh, skeleton. Or big boss golem here. To get the rest of the skulls. And it looks like we're going to get this pretty uncontested. It looks like bottom lane Zagara is holding against uh, Rhaegar, Falstad, and Illidan. So that means they're not down here, and we should be able to get this pretty much uncontested. Alright, and it looks like the enemy team picked up their Siege Giant camp, which is now pushing in our top lane, but we do have Abathur up there who can probably push that Siege Giant back a bit. 
Um, because Abathur can, you know, he can uh, sit on top of a minion or just any, you know, non-hero character and put out his damage. So I'm just going to go in the middle here and grab our watchtower so we have vision in this area. It's always nice to have that extra bit of vision. really helps out to see where enemy teams or enemy movements are going and just so you know what's going on in general. Alright, my next ability I'm going to pick up is going to be Battle Momentum. So the ability I picked up before uh, reduces the cooldown of Smite for all the enemies hit by Smite. And now Battle Momentum further reduces cooldown. No, we're gonna get this. Okay, we just got Rhaegar, yes. Okay, we push Rhaegar back. Now it's just uh, Malfurion and Falstead. But we have the advantage here, and their golem is really weak. It's only a five skull golem. All right, they're still push they're pushing on me back. I'm gonna drop back just a little bit. Malfurion's going a little bit deep. Uh, see if we can't get this kill on him. And yes, he's down. And Falstad, nope, he he managed to fly away just in time. So let's just finish off this golem real quick. So what I was saying, uh, battle momentum reduces the cooldown for every basic attack. So that also stacks with the cooldown reduction for smite. So that means my smite's going to come up very often. I'm going to go over here and grab this Siege Giant camp while my team pushes the top lane. And Zagar looks like she's still in the bottom lane, trying to push down bottom. So we're kind of split pushing at the moment. And our golem is still pretty high on health. So pushing that top lane should go pretty well. So as you can see here, I keep see how the cooldown just kind of keep reduces. Uh, keeps going down every time I make a hit. And see that now all my um, my E comes off cooldown pretty quick, which really allows me to increase my damage output by quite a bit. So now we have our Siege Giant camp pushing bottom lane. And okay, I was checking to see if the fountain was up, but it is on cooldown. I'm gonna go over here and try to help out my team. Looks like they took out Malfurion. Okay, they just took down Illidan, so that's two down. We are up by three levels. We have a nice lead. Uh, Falstad pushed back. Oh, there's Abathur exposed. Am I gonna be able to get to him? Oh, he's gonna dig away. Yeah, I unfortunately, I couldn't get that Abathur. It's really fun when you get a kill on Abathur, just because I don't know. It's it's just fun because they're generally hiding away behind towers and stuff, and you can't really get to them. Uh, I have seen some funny things where Tyrande or you know Nova will sneak in. Well, Tyrande can generally snipe with her uh, owl, or you might see Nova or a Zero Tool. Or, uh, just try to sneak in while they're stealth and then take them out. So I just picked up my heroic ability with Judgment. I, I find that to be the, the better heroic in most cases, at least in solo queue. It's really good for isolating an enemy opponent, especially when a team fight's about to start up. Say you want to take out their Avala, you know, their Assassin, their Damage Dealer, their Nova, whoever. You dive in with that ability, and the rest of your team just follows up and takes them out. Because it does stun them for a couple of seconds. And that's usually enough to take one, take down, you know, one of them squishy assassins. I'm going back to base and get full health. Then I'm gonna go back bottom and join my team. We have a three-level lead right now, so we're doing pretty well. Hopefully, we can maintain this. Okay, Falstad just went down, and maybe we can get a pretty good push on this. Zagara on my heels. We're both going in. We got all five members of our team up right now. We have Abathur providing some additional support. We have Knights pushing as well. Let's see if we can't push this uh, inner towers down. There we go. And then Illidan. We just got to kill an Illidan. And as Rexar, he's going to fall back behind the walls. We're holding up. Okay, uh, Zagara just used Maul and took down or tied up Falstad. We're going to take out this tower. Keep pushing in here a little bit. Illidan's still down. Oh, uh, there comes Malfurion behind us. I'm gonna dash in on him, see if we can't get the kill. See that? Just like that. See, I just dove in on him, my team focused him down, and he went down real quick. Alright, looks like False that just jumped in there. Uh oh. So and he popped his heroic. Illidan popped his heroic. Uh I'm in a bad spot right here. I'm gonna try to get out. I couldn't get out in time, unfortunately. See if I can't get anyone with this. Alright. So that was bad. I should have moved out of there. So my next ability I picked is Cast Aside. It gives uh, my E uh, the ability to displace enemies. So anyone who gets swiped with it will get moved. This actually acts as an interrupt for a lot of abilities, uh, especially heroic abilities like Vala's Strafe or, you know, maybe say Nova's uh, Triple Tap. Anything that has like a channel 
or of that sort, if you displace them, it interrupts that ability. So it's very powerful, and it's also good for just uh, peeling enemies and like positioning them so that your team can get some kills on them. Hopefully I, I, I can show that in this game a little bit later on. And it looks like our team went to the bottom to try and get some skulls, but it looks like Tehran got killed. And it looks like uh, uh, Muradin's getting chased down by two or three of the enemy team. It looks like three. He's probably going to get killed. I'm going to try to see if I can help him. Rhaegar did also come down there, so there's probably four of them down here. Okay, they moved up top. Um, Alright, it looks like Muradin's retreating back. It, might, it looks like he's going to be okay. Uh-oh, Falstad just jumped back there on him, so I'm not sure. But I'm just going to keep trying to get some of these skulls while they're busy. Okay, Falstad just got killed. And Mirrodin also got killed, so it was a one-for-one -one trade there. And I'm going to go over here. Okay, it looks like Illidan's over here trying to give me skulls. I'm going to go one-on-one, -on -one, or two-on-one. -on -one. I got Abathur sitting on me. Oh, Illidan's popping his heroic, and I'm going to try and take him still on. Uh, yeah, and I popped my shield. I have, you know, He has Abathur backing him up now. Now, okay, took him down. So you see that with that Abathur support, I was able to take him down even with Illidan popping his heroic. You know, that increased damage and speed uh, bonus that he gets for being in his uh, heroic form still was not enough to take me down. Just because I had Abathur also backing me up. Plus, you know, Ethereal has a shield and the damage capabilities of the smite attack. Alright, looks like we're getting a lot of these skulls. We got 54 so far. Um... Okay, here, now we got Rhaegar, or we have the Abathur cloned Rhaegar. Oh, he's popping Bloodlust, he's popping his heroic. I popped my heroic, just to stun him for a few seconds. I got Abathur backing me up again. It's a good uh, good eye on Abathur to be watching over me to make sure, you know, I have proper support. And I was able to take down that Abathur clone. Uh oh, it looks like two of the enemy team have come down. I should probably retreat. In fact, we should both probably retreat until we have more team members. Um, it is, we do have Abathur support a little bit. Uh oh, here comes Illidan. He's, he's, he's gonna get revenge on me now for killing him earlier. I'm trying to move out. I've got two shields up on myself, and I'm down. Unfortunately, we did take out Illidan with myself, but just wasn't enough. Uh, their Rhaegar popped Bloodlust, and okay, looks like they went down. Muradin went down, but they did get a kill on Falstad. Now it's just Tehran versus Rhaegar. They both have Abathur support. Uh, unfortunately, Rhaegar had the advantage there and took uh, Tehran down. And now Malfurion is trying to push our top lane. Abathur is backing up the fort. Trying to provide some defense. Slow down that top lane push. I'm going to be respawning here real soon. The next ability I'm going to take is Holy Ground. What Holy Ground does is wherever I throw my Q, my sword, and I teleport to, it creates a blocking field. So I can use that to block enemy movements and to kind of like this right here. See, I just pushed Malfur or yeah, pushed Malfurion back. I used Displace. I pushed him back again. That just delayed him from running away. Gave time for Muradin to come up, and we took down Malfurion. Very easily. So that's that's the really nice thing about these abilities right here that Tyrio has. You can really like position and peel and uh, opponents so I'm gonna go over here and try to get this golem hopefully and I'm calling for my team to back me up um, looks like Muradin's coming down oh it looks like the enemy team's already down here this is not good for me Abathur came to give me a little bit of support I'm trying to run away uh -oh. now there's three of them they, uh, they're popping all their abilities yeah yeah this is bad yeah they popped all their heroics and took me down so that, that was a bad play on my part. I should have waited till I had more backup, or at least not dove in so hard. Unfortunately, yeah. That happens, though. So it looks like the enemy team's gonna get that skull, or the, the skulls from the golem. Uh, I'm, I'm calling for mid-camp. So at the very least, we can get the knights while the golems are spawning. They should be able to get those fairly quick. Looks like the enemy team is positioning to defend. Looks like Rhaegar's up top. He's uh, waiting for the for the golem to pop. And we have Zagara and Mirrodin going up top to support the golem. But we do have to be careful with the enemy team's golem. Uh oh, Rhaegar just popped his bloodlust over there. But I'm going to go bottom. Try and... Oh, somebody's went down. Zagara just got killed. Unfortunately, uh, Mirrodin's over there by himself. Taking on, or by himself with Abathur support. Trying to take on two on one. Oh, it looks like the game's freezing up a little bit. And, okay, there we go. 
little bit of a lag spike there, so I'll just take down this golem. Abathur is supporting the tower, providing extra damage on the golem. I'm just gonna keep whacking on it. Should be able to kill it. Even though we do have a stronger golem, a 42 skull golem is still fairly decent and can, as you can see, take down a few towers. Alright, Mirrodin's coming down for support. Our golem is still pushing up, uh, pushing against their top lane. So we did have a pretty good lead early on, but we seem to have kind of played a little bit sloppy and allowed the team to catch up just a little bit. Uh, we still have still have the advantage in terms of level and as turn and in terms of how far we've pushed. We've pushed pretty much through to their their inner keep uh, on the bottom lane. In the top lane, we still have their outer or their inner outer walls to get through. So we're gonna just grab the siege camp. All right, looks like they already got it. And all right, so now we should probably try to push. And it looks like the enemy team picked up their Siege Giant camp. Malfurion's kind of over here by himself. Let's get this kill on him. Super can't get him. Put my blocking field down so he can't go anywhere else. See that? Oh, another lag spike there. Trapped him in the corner. I displaced him, and he's down. Plus, it was also three on one, so that made it very easy. But at the very least, he could not get away. And there's Rhaegar, and there's Abathur clone Rhaegar. Let's push them around a little bit. Pushing this top lane, we have all of our team here. I'm diving in on Rhaegar, and but it looks like I dove in a little bit too far without support. They do have two Rhaegars up. They just popped a Bloodlust. Oh man, there's a oh Zagar. Oh Zagar is down. We did kill the Abathur clone. Illidan's putting some damage out. Rhaegar's coming in back. He's healing. He's putting up some heals. We should probably switch focus. Uh, oh, this is not good. All right, I just died. Um, I pretty much just let Falstad beat on me. With uh, Abathur also beating on me, and that took us down. We probably should have just focused Rhaegar there, which, yeah, you know, hindsight is 2020. It's always generally a good idea to try and take out the healer in a group that that seemed to have kept Illidan alive longer. And if we had taken down Rhaegar, maybe we could have wiped their whole team at that point. But you know, it happens. I didn't engage very well initially with my heroic. I dove a little bit too deep. So my team wasn't really ready to focus down anyone. But, you know, it happens. So two of us are down. The mines are about to open up. Looks like Illidan is waiting to go in the mines. He's down there. Muradin's already in the mines. So that's another thing you can do. Uh, you don't have to wait for the mines to open up. Once they're, once the, the initial open phase happens, you can go into the mines at any time. Even if the skulls are there or not. Okay, so it looks like Muradin's trying to solo Illidan. Uh, but they do... He does have Abathur support with it. the enemy team's Illidan also having Abathur support. But looks like he's getting chased out because looks like the rest of the enemy team went down the uh, bottom into the mines. Tyrande is also down there by herself, so she needs to get out. There's Falstad. I'm over here. Mirrodin's coming back in to back me up. Chasing down this Falstad, but probably not going to do anything to him. I'm trying to see if... Uh oh, here comes the rest of the TV. He used his heroic. Okay, Mirrodin popped his heroic. I'm gonna dash on someone. Okay, we got a kill on the enemy team's false dad, but it's two on five, and yeah, we're down. They took out both of us, so that, that was not a very good engagement. We at the very least got their false dad down, but you know, it happens. Didn't realize that Zagara was not down there or coming to support us. Looks like she's just trying to get a back door on the court with Abathur also supporting her with a clone. And they're actually doing a pretty good job, surprisingly. Uh, but it looks like the, at, least, at the very least it forced their team to pull out of the mines to come back and try and stop uh, stop them. And they got down to 31%. That's, that's actually pretty impressive. If they had gotten that whole way down to zero, that would have been really funny. But it didn't. Ah, oh, well, good try. Good try, Zagara. So now we all need to wait to respawn. We do have a good, pretty good opening. We could probably just group up and go and push the core. But we'll see what this team does. Again, this is solo queue, so you know it's kind of hard to get teams, the teammates, to do what you want uh, to help you out. Sometimes we are down a level, so we kind of lost our lead in terms of levels. Mirrodin wants to capture the siege giant camp. I suppose we could do that. Although we could still also go get the rest of the skulls that are down there. But we'll just go over here.
So three of us make it short work of the Siege Giant camp. That's that. And I'm going to call for the Night Camp. Because why not? Knights are generally better to have than Siege Giants. But it doesn't look like anyone's coming to help me. Alright, I just picked my final ability, which was Resurgence of the Storm. So if I die, I can respawn after 5 seconds. And I have Abathur supporting me at the very least. And yeah, it doesn't look like anyone came to help me with this. It would have been good if they had come, because then we could have pushed with Siege Giants and Knights and probably taken the core out, but... You know, I don't know. They just wanted to go with the Siege Giants, I guess. I'm just going to grab this Watchtower real quick again. It's just nice to have that extra vision. Looks like they're getting pushed back. It's Tehran, the Muradin. Uh, who else? Anyone else over here? No? I'm not sure. Zagara died. It's the clones. Fal uh, Abathur Falstad. We took him out. Kind of wasted my heroic on it. Probably didn't need to do that, but, you know. Still, it's good to not have it. And it looks like... Okay, I thought we were going to push these knights, but it doesn't look like the team wants to come in. I'm, I'm not really sure what's going on here. I mean, we have a good opportunity right now to push. We have knights pushing with us. There comes uh, Illidan. And there goes Rhaegar popping his heroic. There's... Uh, we're going to get killed. Yeah, I don't know. It looks like Tehran turned around. She looked like, I thought she was coming to help us, but I guess she turned around and go take out the golem. Um, Zagara was still down, and I'm not sure... You know, it happens. Ah, well. We just need to coordinate. We could probably finish this game, but we're just not coordinating well right now. Mirrodin's still over there fighting. He should probably just retreat. I'm going to see if I can't go back him up a little bit. See if I can't. No, he's, he's already down. Yeah. And they're going to pop their heroics on me, and it's 4 on 1, 4 on 2 now. It's Abathur support, but yeah. I probably should not have gone in there. Ah, uh, well, at least they got the golem down. I mean, we still have the advantage. A couple sloppy plays there. Gave the team a little bit of uh, a benefit, but we can still pull this out. All we really need to do is just group up and go push their core on the bottom lane. 31%, we'd be able to take it down pretty quick. And it looks like Tyrande and Muradin are holding the bottom lane against Rhaegar. Looks like Illidan's going over there to ga gather his Siege Giant camp. And we have Zagara pushing the top lane. Alright, looks like they got their Siege Giant camp. Zagara's uh, pretty far out there by herself. Uh, looks like Abathur cloned her to come out. They go, oh, she got a nice maw on uh, two people there. So they're going to push that top keep, which, I mean, that's good that she pushed it, but at the same time, I didn't think it was really necessary. If she had just waited, and we could have all just pushed the bottom keep and taken the core out, but, you know, that's solo queue for you. So now it's Mirrodin and Tyrande, myself. Abathur's still up. We're just going to hold. We can go get our Siege Giant camp. That's really all we can do right now. And it looks like Mirrodin's starting to engage. I'm going to back him up. See if we can get these down. Uh, looks like the enemy team's coming in. They just took the Watchtower. So we need to probably be really careful. I'm going to use my stun. Alright, we need to get out of here. There goes a Bloodlust. There's two uh, Abathur cloned Illidan, so... Oh, ooh, this is bad. Ooh, I'm gonna get out. Uh, I'm trying to get out. Oh, trying to escape. Uh, it's still coming after me. Uh, grab the fountain. Alright. Oh, what? Uh, uh, oh, man, I just got swiped by something. I was trying to make a block for Ash. Should have just stayed back. I was trying to help Mirrodin out, but oh well. Either way, Resurgence of the Storm brought me back up real quick. So we can get back down here and defend. Take out these enemy teammates. Oh, uh, who we got? We got Illidan. Where's Rhaegar? He's trying to run away. Rhaegar's down. Nice. Okay, Illidan pushed a little bit too deep. Let's take him down. Illidan's down. Double kill. And who else we got? We'll see if we can chase these guys down. There's uh, Malfurion. Just, I, just, I just cast aside. You pushed him around. Chasing him down. Give a speed boost to my team. All right, looks like... Ooh, they got a stun on Falstad. I'm going to swipe him. There you go. Pushed him back. Nice. See that cast aside? Just... Oh, it's, the placement is just awesome. All right, looks like the mines are up. 
But actually, enemy team has three down, and we still have all five of our team. But we should just push the core. Yeah, I'm just going in for the core now. I'm calling for the core. And it looks like Zagara and Tehran are going that way. I don't know. Murian's calling for mines, but we don't we don't need mines. We just push the core. There's only 30% left. Let's take it down. And this should be game. They have they only have yeah they got half their team down. The other one's an abathir. There's not really much they can do. That's it. That's game. That's game right there. Pushing the core. It's going. We finally got together as a team and pushed the core. Uh, overall, not a bad game. Not not a great game. I, I had some misplays there, but I think it was a good game. Come out. We came out with a win. That's you know that's really what matters. All right. So guys, that was uh, Tyrael. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. And I'll see you in my next Heroes of the Storm video. Thanks, guys.